What's new in vMix 24? Find out right now. First up, Instant Replay has been revamped in vMix 24. It now supports up to eight cameras in HD or two cameras in 4K. We've also added high frame rate support, up to 240 frames per second, where supported by the camera and capture card. The A and B outputs in Replay can now be controlled independently, so you can play back events in one whilst editing in the other. We've also added a new dedicated Replay multi-view output and much more. Next up is more stingers. We've added two more stinger channels to vMix and also added support for using GT titles as stingers automatically. All you have to do is use the transition in and transition out animations in GT to control the stinger timing. Next, we've renamed Input Multi-View to Input Layers to make it easier to use. We've also added the ability to create basic borders on each layer. We've also added the latest and greatest version of NDI 4.6 in this release. We've added a new faulty encoder isolation mode, or FIME for short as well. This allows operators to completely isolate problematic NDI sources so that any issues there won't impact your vMix production. We've added alerts to vMix 24 as well. This can be configured to flash on screen if your audio is too low or if you have fade to black enabled. There's much, much more in vMix 24. So to find out more, check out our download page at vmix.com for a full list of updates and fixes. Whoa! Oh, hi, Martin. Don't forget, if you purchased after January 1st, 2018, it's a free update. So why not update today? And if you purchase before the 1st of January 2018, it's just $60 USD. Thanks for watching. Congratulations on finishing a vMix YouTube video. Although it's just a few short minutes, the time we've spent together means a lot to us. If you'd like to spend some more quality time with us, feel free to subscribe to our channel. If you're into social media, look for vMix HD across all your favorite platforms.